This nerve is what we consider to be like your number one balance nerve because what a lot of people will experience is a lack of ability to pull their toe back towards their knee, right? Upward. They lose that upward um, ability. So if you just sit, let's say for instance, with your legs extended out in front of you and one of your foot kind of automatically just kind of drops, drops downward, um, that is a sign that you have foot drop or drop foot and you might have some type of issue with your deep peroneal nerve, okay? What's scary is that when we move, when we walk, we rely on this nerve big, in a big way because that's what allows us to pull our toes back up and we don't catch our toes. So we've all been walking before on a sidewalk or you know going upstairs or something where you don't do a good job of pulling your toe back, pulling it up, and what happens? You catch your toe on the step or you catch it or skid it on the ground and what happens? You stumble. And sometimes it causes you to actually fall down. When we're younger, we have the ability to kind of react very fast, very quickly, and catch ourselves and usually throw, the, throw our leg back out in front of us uh, at, fast enough or put our ar extend our arms out in front of us to catch us or, or grab onto something. As we get older, it can be a much different outcome. If we have foot drop, if our DPN or deep peroneal nerve is not functioning properly, we're not sensing it, we're not feeling it very well, uh, then we could be catching our toe on a regular basis. When we're getting up from the sofa to go to the, ba the bathroom, maybe that's an issue because I'm, I might catch my toe on the carpet. I might catch my toe on the change from the carpeting onto the tile.